Hey, you little climate killers. I love these, but they ruin the planet. And trust me, I tried turning veggie, mostly because my co-worker wouldn't shut up about it, but sometimes I just can't resist the temptation of meat. Sorry. Mm. Mm. <laughs> just so amazing. But what does it really take for this beautiful, beautiful lamb filet to end up in my belly? And is there a way to eat meat that doesn't cripple the planet? To find out, I'm heading to where the animals are bred and I'll go through all the steps needed to get to the meat. Yes, even the killing part. Maybe. Oh, go off. Look at those lambs. They're so cute. Uh, I really don't know if I can do this. Hey there. Hello. Hello, hello. Rearing these lambs is what makes them so bad for the environment. It's responsible for 91% of CO2 emissions that come from a lamb. <laughs> Wendelin Schmücker is a traditional sheep farmer. His family has been doing this since 1750. His herd is about 2,000 animals strong and that's small. Usually they have up to 19,000 animals. Hey, you little climate killers. How's everyone uh, doing today? Not the talkative kind. <laughs> Wendelin's sheep are out on pastures for most of the year, but it's not easy to find all that grazing land. Das muss man dann jeden Tag äh, beobachten, wie die Schafe das dann weggefressen haben. <lacht> In der Regel brauchen die Schafe nachher einen Hektar Fläche, den die bekommen. Okay, und dann, äh, dann brauchen die auch jeden Tag einen Hektar Fläche. Jeden Tag einen Hektar Fläche fressen die weg? Ja, 10.000 Quadratmeter, die 700 Schafe. Sheep are just terrible when it comes to land use. Per kilo of meat, they are even worse than cattle. Also worse than pigs and chicken. And what happens to all of that grass once it's eaten? One of the environmental problems with raising livestock you see right here. It's the shit. It's not necessarily the shit, but everything that comes out with it as well, which is, for example, methane, which is really, really bad for the environment. Grass, the sheep's main feed, is really hard to digest. They even throw up and chew on it again to break it down. Blech. A byproduct of this whole digestive process is the gas methane. It's 80 times more harmful to the environment than CO2 over a short period. And that's because it traps more heat. When there is no grass left for the sheep to graze on, all of them will be brought back to the farm. Here they are fed concentrate feed to make them grow up faster. Cute as hell. These are probably the cutest climate killers you're gonna find. I hope the ones that I'm gonna slaughter are going to be bigger. Ich oh, brauche äh, im Stall äh, gute äh, 120 Tage, um einen äh, Lamm von 45 Kilo äh, Schlachtgewicht zu produzieren. Auf der Weide brauche ich dazu in der Regel ähm, acht, acht Monate hier bei mir auf dem, auf dem Boden, um das hinzubekommen. So with concentrate feed, the animals grow up faster, meaning they live shorter and pollute less. But a lot of concentrate is made from soy that comes from South America. And there, a lot of rainforests are cut down to grow it. Good thing that Wendelin is one of the few who uses concentrate that is harvested and manufactured in Germany. I know it's conventional farming and it doesn't really sound eco-friendly, but it actually is. Yeah. Wendelin's conventional farm is pretty sustainable. You'd think organic farming would be better for the planet, but it often uses more land and is less productive. So about that lamb that I'm going to butcher later. This is the lucky one. It's six months old and weighs about 40 kilos. That's huge. 
huge. That's big. That's really big. I really don't know if I can do this. My mind is slowly coming to terms with the fact that I'm going to kill this lamb. But first I have to transport it to the slaughterhouse. Yeah, you really can feel the 40 kilograms. The lamb cost me 130 euros. I'm somewhat afraid and curious as to how much meat that is going to translate to. After a 10 minute drive, we arrive at the slaughterhouse. Looking at it environmentally, it wouldn't make much of a difference if we drove five or 5,000 kilometers. Transport just accounts for 2% of lamb meat's CO2 emissions. But it's a hell of a lot less stressful for the animal if they only travel short distances. So, dann können wir starten gleich. Da ist ein gutes Stück. Ja, ich hörte schon. Lass uns mal reinschauen. Marco Kerr is the butcher who will be by my side throughout the whole process. He's been on the job for over 10 years. Marco only slaughters what people bring him for their own consumption. Bless you. Wenn wir uns der Sache ein bisschen mehr bewusst werden, was wir da essen, dass ein Tier dafür stirbt, wenn man ein Stück Fleisch isst, ähm, dann würden wir bewusster essen, definitiv. Also da bin ich fest von überzeugt. Even though it was just a very short ride, the lamb gets to rest before the slaughtering. Das ist gleich der Ort, an dem es passiert. Genau, das ist das Schlachthaus hier und hier werden wir das gleich drin machen. Uh, yeah, my pulse is like really going up right now. Wie war das so bei dir beim ersten Mal schlachten? Ja, das erste Mal vergisst du nicht. Ja, also ich musste beim ersten Mal raus. Das war ein bisschen viel. Gar nicht so das Blut, einfach so dieses, es stirbt gerade ein Tier. Und das wird dir erst bewusst, wenn es soweit ist. Und dann können wir es aber nicht mehr ändern, dann ist es so. Aber wir schaffen das schon. Wir schaffen das. Oh Gott. Marco shows me how to use a bolt gun. This thing will destroy most of the sheep's brain and it won't feel anything afterwards. Und nicht hier oben fest, nur mit der einen Hand. Nur mit der einen Hand. Nur die eine Hand locker in der Hand halten und einmal abdrücken. Okay. Einfach trauen. What? Das war der Schuss. Oh. <laughs> ja, so und jetzt nehmen wir ihn, schrauben ihn auf. That's like a real gun. Oh. Ja. I take another shot into a pumpkin. This is supposed to simulate the sheep's head. Ja, genau. Oh. After the shot, the animal wouldn't feel anything anymore. And now. It's the real one in the firing line. All is good, all is good. Oh my god. Höchster Punkt, ja. Verbindungslinie. Ja, da. da. Finger weg. Immer den Finger weg. Ja. So. Aufsetzen und drücken. Ja. Richtig durch, oh. durch. Oh. Ich muss mal einmal. Oh Gott, Jesus. That's a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. Oh, it's really warm, like the blood. Jetzt wird sie noch mal zucken und dann ist vorbei. Man, this is like this thing is alive.
Das war's. Jetzt hat er es geschafft. Und wie war's? It's all happening so fast. You, I think I'll need time to process that. It's not as bad as I thought it's going to be. But the moment you see like the blood coming out of the throat, you've yeah, I've killed an animal. And when you think that this happens, not in like this sort of good of a way, but to so many animals, millions per day, Just so we can eat meat? That's a pretty tough pill. <sighs> but this was just the first step. Super geschossen, wirklich. We are still a long way from a steak or sausage. First, cut off the head. Next, the legs, and then skin the animal. Easier than I thought. Das war's. Das bedeutet dann aber auch so, es ist ja keine Masse so, ne? Also dann, es kann ja nicht jeder immer dann halt so ein Lamm haben, mehr oder weniger. Das ist so. Das ist so. Aber das macht es auch wieder besonders und das ist auch wieder das, da haben wir den Nachhaltig als Nachhaltigkeitsaspekt einfach mit drin. Die Leute denken einfach anders über das Fleisch, wenn sie es essen, gerade bei so einem Tier. We also need to get rid of the guts. Genau. Now everything needs to rest for the night. That way it's easier to process later. I think what happened back in that slaughterhouse will forever be burned into my mind. The noises, the sounds, the smells, but it's the only way that sustainably eating meat is actually possible because doing this in the masses of meat we eat today is absolutely impossible. But still for me, I don't really know if I'm ever going to walk into a supermarket again and be like, yeah, I'm going to eat that meat. The next morning, about time that we get those steaks we worked so hard for. <laughs> Taking apart the whole lamp isn't any easier. And there goes the shoulder. Was sagst du denn zu so einem Vegetarier? Ja, die essen beim Essen das Essen weg. Ich könnte so nicht leben. Ich brauche mein Fleisch. In terms of the environment, the slaughtering, processing and retail of lambs are only responsible for 6.5% of greenhouse gas emissions. This is all the meat we got from a 40 kilogram lamb. All of this can go directly onto the grill. This meat is for sausages and those bones are for soup. Overall, we got about 18 to 20 kilograms of meat, but that also means that about 20 kilograms are lost in the entire process. And that's neither efficient nor eco-friendly. These 20 kilos mainly consist of fur and guts. In other countries the guts are usually eaten, but in Germany it's not custom anymore. 
one of the main options, use it as food for other animals. Marco! So! Ah, das sieht ja richtig geil aus. Da haben wir es. Dann Bratwurst als erstes. Ja. Dann einmal festhalten. So. Mm. I'm not going to lie, this tastes really, really good. And I don't feel guilty about it because the lamb had a good life and a good death. And I'm not turning vegetarian, but it's only for special occasions, really. When you slaughter animals like we used to do 100 or 150 years ago, and like we just did, you also need to eat meat like we used to 100 or 150 years ago. That means only a steak a week and that's it. Otherwise, we'll just drown in cow shit someday. Honestly, this was one of the best steaks that I ever had. If you want to see more videos on the environment like this, subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every Friday.